and here's what I invite you to do. I'd like you to sensitize your ears, your eyes, your senses to be able to listen to language, to feel for language, to watch language. All right, so let's go to some basics, okay? NLP stands for <laughs> All right, neuro linguistic programming. What is neuro? All right, so is a is refers to a brain. I like to call it thinking. Okay, neuro refers to our thinking. And the two aspects when we're talking about thinking, we're talking about what we think and how we think. Now, what would you say is what I'm thinking? So can you, can you give me an example? What's the difference between what I think and how I think? So remember, when we're talking about thinking, it's not just thinking here. We're talking about our nervous system. So I'm going to give a slight distinction. And um, so can, and this is my favorite example. Can all of you think of your favorite dish? Your favorite dish. When you think of this, your favorite dish, what's your favorite dish? Biryani. What's your favorite dish? Fish. What's your favorite dish? Butter chicken. Okay, whatever it is, think of it. And with your right hand, point towards it. Like, like when I think about my favorite dish, and I've got too many, I'll just take one. <laughs> okay, so my, my dish is here. So with your right hand, point towards it. Where do you see that dish, right? Okay, now, what we, now the content is the biryani or the palak paneer or the fish. Some, some of your mouth's watering. All right. Okay, now here, I want you to look at it and now do one thing. Just bring it closer. Bring it closer. Tell me if something happens. Right? Okay, for how many of your other senses are getting engaged? Right? So what senses, if, like, does it make a difference when you have it here and here? Yes, yes. What difference does it make for you? Uh, you can almost smell it, you're getting the aroma. All right, how's the biryani? Okay. okay, you can, the warmth. Okay, now move, move that away. Move that away. So just move that picture about 20 feet away. And just look at it as you're looking at it. For some of you, uh, just check your urge or just notice your response. Is it stronger or is it lesser? Okay, for some, okay. Yeah, so now some people want it stronger. For how many of you, the desire to have it becomes stronger? Just just raise your hand. For how many of you, it becomes less when you, when you move it away? All right, okay. So now, the content is the same. What is the content? In this case, it's biryani, it's fish, it's palak paneer. The content is the same. But how we're thinking of it, is what's changing, right? So this is one example of the what and how. If you if you think about uh, when they show pizza advertisements, now do they show the uh, the pizza at a distance? Do they show it as small or is it right here? Right. Is right here. And do they is it is it uh, colorful or colorful? Colorful. It's colorful. Uh, what colors stand out? And and if it's vegetarian, it, it'll be oh yeah, tomatoes will be red. Um, the olives, it'll be right there. Have you have have you noticed the the pizza on the in on TV looks better than it actually is? Yeah, it it tastes better. It's a lot more like the cheese, right? You won't just have cheese; you have cheese, right? And all that creates a sensory experience. So that's the how. Okay, that's an example of the how. Now, L refers to, oh yeah, I'm sorry. And why is this important? Because most of us, or most people, have been trained to focus on changing the what? Oh, you're thinking this negative thought. Change it to a positive thought. Or you're thinking about something that has not gone well. No, focus, so change your focus to what's going well. But we've all done submodalities, right? By changing how we think about something, Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. 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 Yeah. Really? Oh, wow. right. You. I don't know how many hands you're going to get, but you get one more hand for me, right? Really? Now we can use this with goals. Yeah. We can use. So now, so how can we use this with goals? Just the how with goals. What, what can we do? What can we do with goals? So let's say I want to achieve something. Right. So how can I use the how to uh, to motivate me more when I'm thinking about a goal? Sure. So outcome is one. And so when you're saying outcome, so what do you, what are you picturing? If you're picturing something, or what are you thinking? All right. Okay. So do you have a picture when you? You you have a picture of that? Okay. Where, where's that picture? Yeah, right. Okay. So now the picture is very close to you. How, and how do you feel? 
right? Now, if this picture was away, or if it was black and white, it may not have the same kind of impact on his nervous system. So what you do is you, you bring this, it, it becomes compelling. So you don't have to change the content, but by shifting the, the submodalities or the, the form, the experience can be very, very different. <laughs>